So I'm starting out also, this is very, very affordable because it's going to serve a whole bunch of people and we're not serving, you know, filet mignon or something like that. Um, we're actually using a very inexpensive cut of meat that goes a long way, shreds up beautifully, and this dish, I love it, has a lot of flavor. Just something a little different than the Sloppy Joes, although I do like a, a good Sloppy Joe. So I'm starting out. Now, if you have the time, and you're going to be doing this a couple of days before the party, um, you know, I always think it adds a little more flavor to brown up, brown up your beef. So I've got some big chuck roast here. Now, you either want to do, um, you know, a couple of two to three pound roasts or which I found, find a lot easier to work with, or um, a big, you know, five to seven pound roast. Because let me tell you, get the paper out of there, this stuff really shrinks up. So you're thinking, well, that's a big roast, Amy. You cook the, cook the heck out of it, which we're going to do. We're going to cook this low and slow in our slow cooker, and it really shrinks up. So, you know, if you're serving a crowd, you've got lots of people, you may want to double, triple this recipe. So a little salt and pepper. I'm just browning this in a little bit of olive oil before I put it into the slow cooker. It's a really simple recipe. Just a few ingredients. And if you don't have the time, you can do this straight up right away in your slow cooker. That's fine too. Kind of scoop that over a little bit. So again, beef chuck roast. Each of these was about $7 for two to three pound roast going to get quite a few hot Italian beef sandwiches out of this. But if I was having like, you know, 20, 30 people over, I'd want to do a few more of these. Definitely double, triple the recipe. You don't want to be running out. And it makes great leftovers. It freezes really, really well. A little salt and pepper again, kosher salt and pepper. We are going to add a, um, an Italian seasoning packet, so we don't need to go overboard. But these are big pieces of meat. Just give them a little flip. Just get a little color on that beef, just to get it going. As I said, I've done it before where I just didn't have time and I just put it right in the slow cooker with all the stuff that we're going to put in here. And it's still going to taste wonderful, but if you have a few extra minutes, I always like to brown up the beef just a little bit. Okay, so at this point, got a little color on this beef, and it goes right into the slow cooker. If you have a, one of those big Nescos, you know, you can layer lots of these guys in one of those, or get a few different slow cookers going. Now we're going to start having fun, and this is one of those dump recipes that I love because just that's what it is. After I browned up my beef, I just start dumping in stuff. I've got one package of, this is just the dried Italian dressing mix. Just got some garlic seasoning in here and salt and pepper and a little bit of sugar to sweeten things up. Just add some flavor to all that beef. Then I've got two cups of chicken broth. That's just going to give you, you want lots of juice for this because this is kind of like a French dip where you want to, you know, have that, some of that extra juice to, to dunk that sandwich into. So two cups of chicken broth, two cups of water. Now we're going to add one, this is about a 12 ounce, uh, this happens to be 16 ounce, so, uh, but about, you know, 10 to 12 ounce uh, jar of, this is um, pepperoncini, which is a, not too hot, but I really love them, have a little bit of bite to it. It's not like a jalapeno pepper, but they're just um, uh, really nice, adds a lot of flavor, and that's what you usually find in Italian beef. So we're going to throw the juice in here too, so not quite this whole jar. This one happens to actually have a little garlic in there, so a little added flavor. Just throw that in there with the juice. You can also serve the rest on the side. And then we're going to add one jar, but we're going to drain this. We're not going to use this liquid. This is uh, a giardinera. Uh, um, giardinera. I always say that wrong. Giardinera. Um, 
it is like an Italian vegetable, marinated vegetables, carrots, cauliflower, uh, red pepper, and uh, again, going to add some flavor and a little bit of vegetable to this whole thing. And they're pretty much going to cook down because we're going to be cooking this, you know, so long. But just add some more flavor. But we're going to get rid of that liquid, drain that right out. Some onion in here. Really tasty. They make a spicy one too, so if you wanted to kick, up, kick it up a notch or actually serve it on the side, it's really good to kind of put on top of the sandwich. You ever go to Chicago and they have those hot Italian beef sandwiches and, and then you can kind of dress it as you like it. So a lot of times they'll uh, serve that, uh, um, the pepperoncini and the, um, the, the marinated vegetables on the side so you can kind of pile them on the sandwich. So maybe pick up an extra jar. Okay, so that's it. At this point, we're gonna cover this. We are going to cook this low and slow for about 8 to 10 hours overnight. If you need to speed up the process, you can turn it up to high and cook it for like 4 to 6 hours. But you want that beef to just start falling apart. If it doesn't, it's not falling apart, it's not done yet. So here we have it. Just unplugged our slow cooker. And don't dare throw out all that juice because it's delicious. I'm going to show you. Oh, man, does that smell good. Mm. It's already just falling apart on me here. And you can get this shredding done with before your company gets here, which is a real good idea. So just get this all shredded up and back into a slow cooker and it'll just keep it on warm and it'll uh, just be done for you so that you can relax and enjoy everybody. You know, pick up some potato salad, some Italian pasta salad to go with it, some dessert. You know, obviously if it's a special occasion, pick up a cake or make a cake and call it a day, you know. So see how this is just fork tender, and it's just going to pull right apart. Now you got to pick up some really nice for this crusty hard rolls, crusty sub rolls from the bakery. Get the good stuff. And see, this was one roast, and see how it really shrinks up. So definitely going to need a lot of these. Man, it smells so good with that pepperoncini in there and the jardinera. Ooh. All right, so check out this bun. Really crusty. So you don't want a wimpy bun because, you know, we want to be able to serve this with the juice that we've got. And if it was wimpy, it wouldn't hold up to that, so... Mm. Mm. There, just about done. Mm. Now we've got this whole crock pot that is filled with this wonderful broth. It's kind of a pickly flavor. And it's got some of the vegetables in it. And you can just kind of keep that warm in another slow cooker near the sandwiches and let everybody know that that's what that's for. That's for dunking. That's for dipping. So there you go, my hot Italian beef sandwiches for a crowd. I think you're really going to love those. So, so tasty. Throw some extra pepperoncini on top if you want. Uh, just something different. If you're hosting a party and you, you want to really wow them, I think everyone's going to love this recipe.